Hello everybody, my name is Ricardo Bancone and in this video I'm going to show you a very cool update, uh, a very cool feature that has been added to master in Blender um, and it is called um, Random Walk Subsurface Scattering uh, and it's a very cool, cool feature. It basically is a new method to compute the subsurface scattering in uh, Blender cycles and it's included into the principal BSDF and in the subsurface scattering node for cycles. I'm testing it on the 2.8 version of Blender and let's see how it looks. This is a model uh, that I created for a personal project and I'll sh I will use it to show you uh, the new shader. The old one method, as you can see here, in my material panel uh, is called Christensen Burley. This is the old one. The new one, of course, is Random Walk. Um, I pre-rendered a, a full resolution image of the new method. This is the Random Walk shader. As you can see, it is looking very flashy. But let's see the difference with the old method. I'll, I'm going to show you the, an image rendered with the old method. And this is the image. As you can see, uh, a lot of detail is lost, especially here near the eyelids, on the nose, on the mouth. And also, the, the subsurface scattering color uh, looks oversaturated. Uh, on, on the model. If we switch back to the new one, as you can see there is way more detail preserved with the new method and there is a nice desaturation of the color on the thin parts of the model. For example, on the ears, on the eyelids, look at this. Look how the eyelids get desaturated because they are thin. The subsurface scattering here is uh, a little bit exaggerated on purpose to show you how it works. Look at this. Look how nicely desaturated the subsurface scattering color is here. Let's compare again with the old one. All the details are lost. Everything is reddish here. And the new one, great. Look at this. So fleshy. I love it. So this method is basically a brute force volume computing uh, and it's supposed to be uh, a little bit slower or uh, more, more noisier, more noisy, but actually on some tests that I've seen uh, on the developer page, pages, uh, it actually looks like uh, even faster in some cases. I have to test it out. I didn't. Uh, I didn't uh, take. T I didn't take the time uh, to see the render times comparison uh, between this one and the old one. But anyway, you can see it looks way better than before. Definitely, no doubt. This is a game changer in my in my opinion. Let's show you a little bit better on another model. I have another collection here with a nice Yoshi model here. This is supposed to be... this is a sculpted model. I quickly sculpted it for fun and it's supposed to replicate a real-world object with all its imperfections here. This is the EV preview by the way which also has got some nice subsurface scattering preview. Let's switch to Blender Cycles to show you the method. Let's select it and make sure that the random walk is selected. By the way, you have to activate the random walk here in this part of the shader. In the principal shader, you have multi-scatter GGX and in this part you can select random walk on Christensen Burley. Let's select the old one. And as you can notice here, 
everything is green. This is the uh, base color, and this is the subsurface scattering color. I have a 0 0.4, 8, 0 0.8 uh, subsurface uh, um, intensity. Let's call it like this. And look at this. Right now, I'm rendering with the old method. Look how the thin parts are equally saturated uh, if compared with the thick parts like the cheek everything is pretty saturated if i switch to the random walk bam let's wait it to render a little bit more samples look this nice desaturation on these thin parts even these tiny little spikes and imperfections of the model. Uh, let me show you first the uh, clay. Okay, so you can better see how this model is built. There are some imperfection, some tiny spikes. They are very thin. If I render it with a random walk, you will see that. Look how desaturated they look. The thick part here is green, and these parts are nicely desaturated. This is a very big improvement in my opinion I don't think I will never switch back to the old method because this is so good let's just exaggerate the subsurface scattering radius let's 0 0.2 in the red and 0. Point. look it starts to be very desaturated Now I'm reducing the radius of the subsurface scattering so you can better see the difference. Maybe here, let's try to uh, turn off the lights here. Just, just leave the ambient light. So let's make it a little bit uh, intense, strong. Look how the thin parts are clearly desaturated. This is great. So I hope this video was useful to you and if you like my video videos please uh, subscribe to my channel and like the video. See you the next time.